Coast. I was just with her. In the yard Friday. Um, she was on Ellen. Killed it. Yes, Ellen. Killed it. Um, she's been all over the place, but I just spoke to her. She said she's the most excited about this moment right here. So y'all gotta give it back. She's ready. All right, y'all gotta give it up one time for Camila. Camila. You know, the crowd's been filing in and working, working. Go ahead. Oh. 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 <laughs> so, you know, they've been filing in, you know, we, we had some, some, some good food, some good drink. Nice. Um, and they've been writing down some questions. I got a handful of questions. Wow, I'm excited. How beautiful yeah. is this place, too, right? It's gorgeous. So... You know me. Yeah. I can never get it. I, I have questions. <laughs> it's, so, it's so easy. <laughs> hey. Hey. So we're gonna get into. I, I can't. I can't get enough interviewing you. Of what? Of interviewing you. Oh, I, can't get enough. I know. This is just. It keeps getting better. So right? I, I got. I got some doozies for you. So I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, and then we're gonna get into the audience questions. That's cool. Yeah. Got all y'all questions right here, man. We gotta ask as many as we can. Um, first, I want to know this week, release week. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my god, it's insane. What's been your favorite part? My favorite part. Um, I mean, I think that any moment where I get to see how the songs have directly affected you guys is really, really cool. Like you know, when I just did the signing and. People are like, oh, All These Years is my favorite because this and this, or, you know, Havana's my favorite because this and this. I think moments like that really make it feel real for me, you know, because I've been working on this album forever, so the fact that now you guys are each, you know, connecting to the songs in your own ways, you know, moments like this, you know, I literally haven't slept in the past five days, but I'm still, I'm so excited to be here and really be sharing it with you guys. <laughs> Um, you've been working on this album. They say, you know, it, it takes, you write, you take your whole life to write your first album. That's yeah. what they say. And, you know, you've been working on it, I know, very hard for the past year. But during this process, what, what's the biggest lesson that you learned about yourself? Ooh. Well, actually, ironically, I feel like the biggest lesson that I've learned has been the opposite of She Loves Control, in a sense. Because I feel like a lot of the times I can be such a control freak that, um, like for example, the night before my album was released, I literally had this nervous breakdown while I was in the shower. And I was like, no, I can't release it. We, ha we have to stop now. Roger, Roger, we're, we're gonna have to call Roger. And he's gonna have to just, you know, he's gonna have to put everything on hold. Cause I can't, I can't put it out. It's not ready yet, it's not ready yet. And um, that's just how I am. I'm just kinda, sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I feel like part of what I've learned is that learning to just let go and enjoy you know, and just letting go of that need for constant control of everything and just being like, okay, you know what? I did my best. This is my first album. I'm just gonna, just gonna let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> By the way, guys, you have to tell me, I, I've noticed that I have this pattern of saying you know everything. <laughs> Interview, you guys made this compilation. Well, like every interview for the past three months, and it's. Oh, and I see the video where I say you know, and it's just, 
you got rowdy. <laughs> well, I've seen the video also where I say you know and then it just speeds up. Oh my god. And now and we have to have some kind of code. Like, okay, maybe okay, maybe when I say you know, maybe all of you guys go <laughs> and then I'll know. No, because I'm I'm gonna work on it. You know, you know. <laughs> different context. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you know that it's bad when my grandma called me and she was like, you have to stop saying you know what I mean every second. She's like, seriously, stop. I, I got a better idea. What? Title for album number two. Yeah! You know? You know? <laughs> Guys didn't do it, you know? Nice. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. It's funny though that you talk about um, she loves control because I got a super nerd question now that I've been able, you know, we've been able to live with the album for a couple of days. The last time I saw you was release day, so yeah. you know I was only like a couple of listens in and I got yeah. the questions, but I must have listened to it like fifty eleven times right now. I like, like that I, word fifty eleven. Fifty eleven. Fifty eleven. It's a real number. Wait, isn't that? Oh, oh, that's in a Beyonce song. Fifty eleven right. girls. There you so, go. Go ahead. so I, I got a nerd question. A super nerd question. Never be the same. Verse two, you go def definite bop. Uh, of one such, I could overdose. You said, "Stop playing the safe girl." I want to see you lose control. Whoa! I actually didn't realize the. And that then you have she loves control, and I was wondering. Well, you just kind of answered the question because you said yeah. you didn't realize, but was. This a recurring theme? Was it a cognizant thing as you were writing the album to connect these themes? Of well, I feel like it's something that I struggle with a lot, and it was part of my New Year's resolutions this year. Um, to because I feel like in my career and in my work and in my music, I'm definitely a control freak, and you know I obsess over. <laughs> no, I said. It. Oh my god! I didn't even notice. This is bad. That was an unwarranted. I don't know. This is going to go so left. Yeah, right no, seriously. Um, but I feel like... I feel like um, creatively, I need a lot of control. And sometimes to have the best moments in life, you have to be willing to give that up, you know? This is, that's the last time. You just gotta own it. But in, whether it's in love or in friendship, you can't, you can't. You have to be okay, you have to be okay with, not, with not having control. You have to be able to let go. Um, so I definitely think that that's part of my personality. Uh, and it's something that I fight against. You know, in order to... <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're Mission right. Impossible 7 is starring Oh my god. Another recurring theme in, in the album, man, I, I really dug deep is, and I feel like it's a fitting question because we're in LA. Mm -hmm. I feel like LA is almost like another character within oh, the album. Oh, um, yeah, it is. <laughs> Maybe I'm a good way. Listen, in, in the dark, um, who are you when it's 3 a.m. and you're all alone and LA doesn't feel like home? Sorry. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're we gonna solve this. We're gonna get. Yeah, we, nah, we're gonna solve this right now. Never be the same sneaking in LA when the lights are low. <laughs> and then I kind of feel like real friends, I feel like LA is, is the backdrop. For sure. What's the deal with you in LA? Well, guys, I mean, everybody in this room is my real friend. <laughs> Um, but I think that it's hard to make real friends when in, in the stage that I was in when I was making the album, I was going to the studio and I was going to sleep and I was going back into the studio and I didn't have much of a social life. And it just felt hard to make friends that were in the industry because it, it felt like we could just not talk about anything else but, but music. Um, and it just got too entangled in everything. Um, and I just wanted to be just a, a human being. I just wanted to be a, a 20 year old kid instead of a, a singer that just is making her debut album for the first time. And I think that's why I still live in Miami because when I go there, you know, whatever. Um, when I'm there, 
Yeah, we're going to have to throw this in right. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's, right. Not gonna, it's just not going to happen. But I will work on it. Um, so the reason I love to still be in Miami is because I'm with my family. And I, you know, I, go, I go out with a lot of the same friends that I had in elementary school. And people don't really care that much. So it's, you know, about, about, me, about, about me being a singer, about me right. making whatever. Um, and so, yeah, I just felt like I needed the, the human part. And it was hard to just unplug from everything. And I felt like it was hard to meet people because I was just going to, you know, whether it was like after parties, um, at award shows, that's like a place that you meet people. But it's also just horrible and you leave the event but wishing that you just never went. It's like, oh, I totally could have just stayed home and watched Harry Potter. I would have had a great time. Thanks. So. But uh, I feel like you got some real friends in this room. On the count of three, can we say we love you, Camila? Aww. Can we do that? Yeah. You ready? One, two, three. We love you, Camila! Thanks, guys. Yeah. But you know what? I actually feel like everybody has felt that way at some point or another in their life. And for me, it was me, you know, being in LA and in that whole industry scene that I just felt totally disconnected with. But I also felt that way in like ninth grade, you know? Um, whatever. <laughs> but I think everybody has, you have very, very few real friends right. in, your, in your life, like people in, in your life that you're super close with, you can tell anything to. People come and go, but those are those people that you connect with like that. I feel like are pretty rare. So when you have them, you have to really hold on to them. That's a fact. Hey, y'all feel that? Yeah. I definitely feel that. But check it out. I, I can sit here. I got questions all day, but that would be selfish of me. And, and I feel like I got so many great questions from the rest of you guys in this room, and I want to ask them. Oh yeah, get comfortable. I got a pedicure, so they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get a pedicure, so my <laughs> shoes will stay on. <laughs> Sophie Watson, where you at? Where's your hand? Sophie Watson. Sophie, uh, there you are. Hey. So check it out. I'm gonna re- we don't have mics to go around, but I'm going to read your question. This is a great one. If you could describe this album with a color, what would it be? Oh, that's easy. I feel like uh, it's different shades of blue. And I I actually feel like it's really earthy tones. That plays a part in... I always... I see songs a lot of the times. There's like a color that goes with them. But I feel like the whole album has a lot of earthy tones. Kind of like the cover does. Or like that does. Or this couch. The browns. All that. (laughs) Wow. That was a great question. Yeah. Um, Carmen and Alina? Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up? They want to know, and I know songwriting is a big thing to be able to really write and showcase your writing. They want to know what song did you have the most fun writing on this album? Ooh. I'm going to have to say it's probably a tie between Never Be the Same and Real Friends. Because I always love it when a song comes so easily. And it's kind of like you're in this haze, this song haze. And then the next day you listen to it, and when you're like, oh, yes, this was really, really great. I'm so proud of this. It's such a nice feeling. Um, Because Never Be the Same took so little. It was like, you know, I did like eight freestyle pass things, and we had the melody, basically, and we filled out the words. And we did it in just a day. I think it was in like seven hours. And um, All These Years was like that, too. I didn't even know All These Years was a good song until like three days after, though, because we originally... Um, did it to this acoustic guitar song and basically Frank uh, had left the studio and there was this guitarist there and I was with this guy, uh, Mustafa and um, Frank had left and we had this acoustic guitar riff and I was honestly, I was just exhausted that day but I had run into this person that day and I knew that I wanted to write a song about that Um, and so it happened super fast, it was like 45 minutes and it was done and I was like, oh, this is probably, you know, cute. And it was three days after that Frank replaced the acoustic guitar with the electric guitar that you hear on the song and he um, messed it up with the, you know, when it's like, <laughs> it's like the, the Darth Vader uh, ad-libs. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and then I was like, oh, this is really, really special. But I love, I love being pleasantly surprised by songs. You're like, oh, hey, that's good. Yeah. That was a really great question. This one doesn't have a name, but, but it's a great question because um, I was watching the Ellen performance today. Did you guys see that? <laughs> So, so and, and it was such a great reimagination of Havana because we obviously seen the video and yeah. the outfit choices and you performed it before, but this question I thought was fitting. Since every performance is different, it has a different theme, what's the process of picking an outfit and how many selections did you see and match it with the production? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, so basically, Havana has been so much fun because I love reimagining it every time that I do it. Um, cause I feel like there's just an endless, you know, with every song, there's an endless list of, of vibes and especially cause Havana is so theatrical. It's really fun to play with that. Um, but outfits, well actually with Havana, with this Ellen performance, there was this guy, um, that my stylist found and she showed me the picture and I was like, oh my God, this dress would be so great. And so I tried it on and it was great. But other times it's way harder. Um, like when I did the the Jimmy Fallon Havana thing. Woo! Um, so we almost, the original plan was to wear blue, and so we had this this like blue dress, and then we did it on soundcheck, and it looked a mess, because I was in blue, and the dancers were in, in red, and um, the screen was in yellow, so it looked like a rainbow like threw up on the stage. <laughs> um, so then we ended up just going with, with the red that I was gonna wear for Today Show. Oh my God, all this behind the scenes stuff. Is You're getting the juice. Um, getting the juice. So yeah, it it depends on it depends on every team. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thanks. The one for Havana, the one yes. Oh, I was there. Oh, thanks. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Was that when I wore the blue jumpsuit thingy? Yeah, that was really cool. First of all, your frequent flyer bottles. Wow, that's so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we could do it after. Wow. Just give me a pen and paper. I, I worked so hard on my handwriting for you guys when I was getting tattoos because I stress. Because I, I have the worst handwriting ever. I have a third grader's handwriting. You guys, it's okay. You can tell me. And, but whenever it's tattoos, I, I, I do it like 10 times. I'm like, options. <laughs> All right, next, next question. I want to get through as many as, as we can. Caroline, are you around? <laughs> oh, right there. So hey. This might be my, I want to know the answer to this one, too. It's not even music related. If you could bring back any childhood toy, Ooh. what would it be? Oh. Tamagotchi. Actually, the one time that I, I, I got in trouble in school, um, I was in third grade, Miss Hernandez's class, and I was playing with my Tamagotchi under my desk. That sentence, if I changed the word, could have been really bad. Um, <laughs> I know, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm delirious, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I know, I'm sorry, sorry, just skip that, it didn't happen. That's, that's why your hand might just say stuck as a third right <laughs> now. Oh, oi. Um, but yeah, Tamagotchis. They were great. Great. Oh, you what? Um, <laughs> but wait, when it died, did you have to get another one? No, you just restarted it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't remember that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm Okay, we got the next one from Ivan. Um, oh. Nice, hey so, Ivan. Well, only told the moon the officially released. Wow. This piping hot tea. Yeah. Yeah. Scorching. Um, yeah. Well, only told the moon. I actually love that song. And I love, I love some of the, the songs that I wrote when I was when I was younger. Um, Told the Moon is one of them. There's also this other song called Like Friends Do, which I thought was really, really great. Um, that one didn't get leaked. No. But. <laughs> I mean, we could change that right now. No. <laughs> okay, so it was like, um, it was like, 
So you said I sit straight on the couch like friends do And I'll stop kissing your mouth like friends do Cause I can't look at you quite like friends do Like friends do, like friends do And you don't say my name quite like friends do I kiss your neck, does it feel like friends do? So baby, say it again, I dare you But this feels like, like friends do because I'm like, these emotions have already passed. But I feel like it would be, because I still really like some of those. So, yeah, maybe next, maybe next time around. The thing is, I feel like there's so many, there's so many different genres and so many different things that inspire me musically that sometimes it's, it's hard to, like, I literally wish that I, I which is something that I want to do. I want to make an album that is, one, just full of just, remember Ed's uh, EP that was like Songs with Amy? Songs yes, I did with Amy? Yes. I would love to do just like an acoustic, just Woo! pure song Woo! album. And then I would also love to do like a pure, you know, Latin influence. Yeah, yeah. yeah so there's so many different things I want to do. And I also love Paramore, like I want to do a rock. Yeah, so there's... We got time, this is album number one, y'all. We got the, no. you good? I want the live one, I want like anything for Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I, love that. <laughs> I see your memes like already. Yeah. Okay, Daisy wants to know. Daisy, where you at? Hey. 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 I, I need the answer to this. I need some good tips. In times of stress, what is the one thing you find yourself doing? Like in terms of like an exercise or something. Also, BT Dub, I love you. <laughs> Daisy. Now, I mean, that was Daisy's question. I love you too, but. <laughs> Okay, what do I find myself doing to feel better? Yeah, time to stress. I love to watch Sex in the City. Yeah. Guys, who do you, okay, who do you think I am? Who am I? Thank you. Let me say Samantha. <laughs> Listens to Intuit one time. <laughs> um, oh my god, yeah, I met Sarah Jessica Parker oh, yesterday. Yeah. I know, because coincidentally she was on the show, and I'm, I told her I binge watched. Six seasons of From the City. I'm on 6B now. It's the last season. I'm so sad. No, but seriously, what I do in times of stress, um, I love to watch movies or anything that takes me out of the current place and reminds me that there's something more than the current situation. Uh, that's why I love fiction movies so much. That's why I love Harry Potter. That's why I love Disney movies. Because when I'm stressed because I haven't slept in five days, I remember, you know, Mulan saved her country. <laughs> Or, you know, th you know, things that, that make it feel like this is not the end of the world. Because sometimes when you're, when you're in a state of stress, things can seem like way, way much of a bigger deal than they actually are. Uh, so I do that. I also feel like if you take three deep breaths, that actually helps so much. You have no idea. Whenever you feel stress, take three, just close your eyes, take three deep breaths, and I guarantee you... Um, so that's a good one. Yes. Melissa wants to know. Melissa, where you at? We also might have more than one Melissa here. I scared Melissa away. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa wants to know what's the story behind In the Dark? Story behind In the Dark. It happened right here in the City of Angels. <laughs> and, um, okay, so basically what happened was that I was at this after party for the Grammys last year. And uh, there was this guy that I, there was like this super mild flirtation. And it was this famous guy. And so it was kind of just this observation, uh, kind of on the outside looking in of just famous boys and I think just maybe famous people in general sometimes uh, that you try to get to know them and they're still just the facade. They're still their, their performer side, if that makes sense. I, I 
or says the wrong thing or, you know, trips or stumbles in any way. And sometimes that can be, a lot of the times I feel like that's the endearing part in a person, not somebody that just has it all rehearsed. So he blew it. Well, he didn't really <laughs> blow it. It's not really anything that he did wrong, but I was just like, this is just boring. <laughs> you know? Sounds like he blew it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Catherine wants to know. Catherine, are you around? Hey. Oh, Catherine! Hey! hey. hey. I'm here for Catherine. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Do you have any phobias? Ooh. Oh, sharks. <laughs> I know, but it's, it's, it's different when they're... I don't like being in the water and not my feet not touching the sand. And I don't know what's happening. I remember one time... Um, I was in Cancun. Cancun, I'm Mexican, damn it. Uh, I was in Cancun last year and I went uh, on a trip with my family and we were doing a scuba diving thing, scuba diving thing with some turtles and I was literally having an anxiety attack because I peed and I thought the shark would smell me. <laughs> and I was like, I know that it's coming, it's coming. And I literally, you know when you're scuba diving, to get up and talk to somebody is a lot of work. Right. And I was like, I'm scared that there's sharks. And my mom's like, relax, calm down. Like, you know, relax. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of sharks. Even though I love them from afar and I want to protect them in our ocean because I know that they're a very important part of the ecosystem. Yes. Yeah. But I, yeah, sure. I'll keep them away from you. Yeah, but that just, that definitely, that definitely really, really spooks me. I don't think they can smell pee. <laughs> I think it's like blood. Right? Yeah, I know, but I was just, I don't know, I just got scared. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's I think that's my that's my phobia. That's my uh, that's my phobia. That's not like deep. <laughs> my deep one. Man, you about to turn this to open, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm, my deep one is just being regretful of stuff that I didn't do when I was older. But I feel like that's actually a good. I mean, being regretful of things that I didn't do when I was younger and looking back on that when I'm older. But I feel like that's actually a good thing because when you're scared of that, it makes you live more in the moment because you're like, oh, I want to do everything. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I replace, does that make sense? I replace, you know what I mean. Yes. Um, so yeah, I actually feel like that's a healthy fear. Fear of fear, of fear is a healthy fear. I think we got time for one more. Aww. All right, I'm trying to make this is a good one. Okay. I think it's a nice way to end it. Okay. Um, Carla. Hi. Oh wow! Oh, this whole town, I think I made questions at. Nice. I thought you were. I thought, no way. Yeah. With the K or with the C? Okay. <gasps> with the K or with the C? With the K. Nice. With the K. With the K. Nice. We gotta figure out who wrote this question though. You're gonna tell me you wrote this question once I read it out loud. Okay. A lot of people are using many words to describe your album. Oh, nice. Own it. How would you describe your album in one Spanish word? Ooh. Ooh. Yes. I'm gonna say. Intenso. <laughs> It's lit. It is lit. All right, man. You guys having a good time? It's not over yet. Listen, Camilla and I are going to disappear for a second. 
Alright? But now nah, there's gonna be pitches. There's gonna, there's gonna be a good time, right? So y'all just hang out for one second? Y'all good? Alright, man. Yeah, the music gotta come back on, man. Cut the music off. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, Facebook. Susan.